how to create video content for social media. I do this almost every day. Specifically, I actually come to Studio 2 maybe three times a week and I knock it all out. You as an entrepreneur need to be creating way more if you want more followers and you want more engagement and want more revenue. So let's talk about specifically how do you create compelling videos and content that's actually for social media. And we're going to talk about what are the strategies for consistent and impactful videos. And the last thing I want to talk about, what are the key actions to take and avoid as you are building your really your social media plan of which video is an enormous piece of it. So let's begin. So to start off with video is the number one most consumed content. So you can do audio files, you can do photos with captions, the old school way, but video is critical. And if you're not used to being behind a camera, you can hire me on media train you. I have been a highly media trained to the tune of over six figures of media training, having been Dr. Phil's expert, CNBC, et cetera, et cetera. As you grow into it, I mean, most of you will actually do a lot of this behind a Zoom camera, or you're going to have a little camera with a little handle and a little stand. So you're going to have your gimbal of equipment, right? And then eventually you might build into a whole studio, which is just a section of one of our offices where we just built this frame, put up sound equipment and put all this up so I can just come back here. We can record and change it. We can actually put screens up behind. We can make it different. As far as your content, it's got to be compelling. It's got to be distinctively different. So I'm in the money space. Do you know how many people say they make millionaires? And there's only a few of us who really do, right? So what are they saying? What do I need to say? What it gets people's attention? And usually there's a little bit of a shock factor. So Thank God I had no filter going into this whole like social media realm. Like when COVID hit, I was a stage presenter, right? So I'm used to being in front of audiences. I had no problem being in front of a camera. I can tell you being in front of a camera is extremely different than being in a live audience with interaction. So I had to change a lot. I had to get new training. 2020 was a little rough for me in all honesty, because I had to change the way I talk to you. I had to the way, change the way I frame it, change the way all of it happened because doing a stage and doing a video, just different. I can't even tell you how different, like a thousand percent. You want to know what the common problems are in your audience, right? You want to speak to those problems. You want to have a little shock and awe factor. You want to know and have people know that you do have the solutions if you're somebody who does have solutions. If you're out here on social media just to entertain, just entertain. Now, if you just have one product, right, then you got to get a little creative about ways to engage an audience around a one product offer. I would highly encourage you to expand your offering. One product offering isn't going to even probably get you the revenue that most of you deserve or want. So think of, again, a customer experience and how do you, through video, take your client, right, your lead on a journey, those who are watching and engaging with you. And then you got to engage back and you got to stay highly, highly available to them. So what are strategies for consistent and impactful video? Well, I usually do long form, so I do these first right? Because these are around 8, 10, sometimes 12 minutes for YouTube. And then we hand it to our other teams to cut from for Instagram, for TikTok, for LinkedIn, for Twitter, for all the other social channels. Now, some of them have different frames and formats. So sometimes I will just do one minute content, right? For Instagram, for example, they want one minute content in a very different format. So to cut one minute out of a 10 minute, you know, really teaching lesson, can get challenging. But when you do long form, you can create it into transcriptions, you can create it into eBooks. There's so much that you can produce and create as you do content. So just get used to it. And I cannot tell you enough, one of my number one trillion dollar tips to learn how to do this well is just start interviewing other people. Because a lot of you standing here for hours now behind a camera, you, a, you don't have enough content, you don't feel comfortable enough. So by interviewing people, even though it's Zoom like instead of camera like, unless you come to a live studio, at least you get used to being in a narrative, you get used to being in a content, you know, relationship with your audience, pull them, survey them, ask them what they want more of from you. So you continually have consistent content that your audience wants, and they know that you are engaged and even call them out on a name. Like I have my asklaurel.com, A-S-K-L ORL, ask a question, make a request. I'm going to ask you to do that today. So people who go out to ask Laurel can ask any question, make a request. Where do you think I get more of the information for the content? 
based on the questions. I get thousands of questions a month. And out of that, it informs our teams, right, who actually help write scripts and organize all this content. And then I know it left and right, and I know how to just produce it, and I don't have to be scripted. Some of you who are new, you are going to have to spend more time on your content. You're going to need to actually line it out so you're not just rambling. Like, what's the lesson you're doing? What are the three points you're going to talk about? What are the five points you're going to talk about? How are you going to end it? Where are you going to take and direct your traffic? Where do you want them to do after you're done with your video? Do you want them to continue? So to that point, I'm going to ask you to subscribe. Be here, click the notification button. Five days a week is our commitment of new content all the time. We've been doing it now going on three years. July will be three solid years, right? 365 times three of delivering five days a week content completely different and not reposting it. So you say, well, my gosh, where does that content come from? Right? I had books, things I've done before. If you don't have these, then guess what? I would highly encourage encourage you to do this, do interviews, take all of that and then make one of these so you have something to sell as a 10 or 12 or $17 offer to your audience. So as people tell us what we want, just so you know, we do use AI, we use ChatGPT and we double check it because it's not always accurate, right? Especially to my content and because it's kind of a stock, kind of boring, but it gets you some outlines. But I also have very clear content. I have a ton of it on the internet so it can pull from my voice and it can get a little, you know, snarkier and more direct because I don't invite you to do something I tell you what to do. I'm very, very direct about it and I don't have a filter about it. So you can use the analytics, use Google Analytics for your topic if you were just getting started. Like what do people search for on your topic? What are you really good at? And follow the leaders. What are the leaders talking about? What do you need to talk about that's not the same, distinctively different, that captures an audience? And and then do engagement. So we have, I don't know, anywhere between three to seven people a day engaging with our audience on all our social channels. So you just can't post and you're out there by yourself as a solopreneur and then like look at your stuff back on Saturday. It's five days old, six days old. You got to stay engaged every day. Every social channel has an algorithm. So you're going to need to get some experts. We hired experts to help our team and now we know how to do it. You need experts to tell you what the algorithms are going to do. And by the way, the algorithms change. So if you think you're going to learn it, three to six months later, you're going to need to learn something new again, because it's going to change again. They don't keep them the same. And you're going to need to know what words they don't like. So you don't get in what I call social media jail. Most social channels hate the word millionaire. They hate that I guarantee I'll make you $100,000. They hate all those words. So then they put me in social media jail for 24 hours. So again, if you're running your business off just social media followers, you got a massive mistake going. You should have corporate structure and a database. You control it all and you manage the experience. So if you want to know more or have some questions, go to asklaurel.com, A-S-K-L-O-R-A-L. Ask a question, make a request. We'll be back tomorrow.